Shakur Stevenson wanted me to ask you because you're his favorite fighter and you're kind of like his idol. And That's I talked to him this week and he wanted me to ask you directly his Olympic week. He wanted advice from you or just your personal experience for what he can expect, what few of us get to understand. Yeah, now we've talked about it before. You know, it's, it's tough because I kind of came up, sound like an old man right now, but I came up a little different in my day. Um, you know, Verge was the type of coach where you get away from everybody, you know, you turn your phone off. I mean, we didn't have Snapchat in 2004. We didn't have Instagram in 2004. At least I wasn't using Instagram. We had a we had a room that we all had to go huddle around where there was there was like desktop computers where we all had to get news about what was going on and we had to man, get it's my turn. Let me get in there. We had to, that's how that's how we got it. But now, you know. In 2016, I see the team, US, USA team, they're Snapchatting, they're Instagramming. So part of you wants to tell him, shut it down, do it like I did it, but that may not be the right thing. He knows what he has to do. He's been winning for a long time. All those kids know how to do it. The key is just, just understand why you're there. Um, understand why you're there. Understand that you're not going to get this moment again. We don't typically repeat as Americans when we go to the Olympics. So. Just understand why you're there and, and take it serious, man. And, and and I think everything else will fall in place. Is he your pick for gold? I think we have, you know, several several people, uh, male and female, that can win gold medals. But he's definitely one of the top picks. Uh, he's a winner. That's simple. Kid knows how to win.